destroy. Amen. No one can take you out of the book of life unless you willingly walk away from the faith and depart from the faith. Nobody can pluck you out. You have to willingly leave. And God will let you leave because he's a gentleman. There's no one saved, always saved. That doesn't exist. That's false doctrine. You can depart from the faith and go apostate and lose your soul. So that means you could be saved today and lost tomorrow. But the good news is you could be lost today and saved tomorrow. Or you could be lost today and saved today. If you repent of your sins and give your heart to Jesus. But then tomorrow you're responsible for walking in which the confession you made today. And even if you don't make it to tomorrow, if you repent from your heart and give your heart to Jesus, you will make it into the kingdom of heaven. You may not have any work to show for it. All your works will be burned up. But you will get into the kingdom of heaven based on the fact that you repented before you checked out of here. Amen. The Bible says repent. That was the first word of the gospel. Jesus said repent. And believe the gospel. Amen. Thank you God for allowing me the opportunity to preach this afternoon. May your spirit quicken our hearts to the truth of the word. Stir us up. Correct us. Bring us into right standing. Bring us into sober thinking. Bring us into single minded thinking and not double mindedness. For your word says a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Help us to know the true gospel and help us to be willing to stand up regardless if people resist regardless of the excuses they make regardless if they even falsely accuse you and say you're stirring up strife and discord may we continue to preach and teach the truth even in the midst of persecution even in the midst of suffering no matter what we have to go for or have to go through May you empower us to boldly proclaim the truth and most importantly to live according to the truth that our lifestyle, our integrity and character may be a witness but to the world that Jesus Christ is indeed Lord, the one whom they crucified, the one who died and was buried, rose again and has all power in heaven and in earth because God the Father you have given all power and authority to your Son until the kingdoms have been fully restored unto God and then the son shall become subject to him who put all things under his feet thank you Lord thank you Heavenly Father for giving me the opportunity to preach your word instilling me a meek and a humble heart before you and the boldness to preach and teach the truth of the gospel as your spirit empowers me. And please empower my wife. Cleanse her from her sins. Cleanse me from my sins. Cleanse my children from their sins. Help us to walk as a godly family and prepare us for whatever we have to go through. Be with her. Be with those who are not here. Be with my friend, Brother Paul. I don't know what's going on, but God, please touch his heart. May he not depart from you. Lord, help him and help his family. And Lord, help us to continually serve you and to give honor unto you. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Before I dismiss... A couple weeks ago, I was praying and I said that the Banks family was grieving for a lady named Debbie and the lady's name is Betty Banks and not Debbie Banks. So I had the wrong name, so I must apologize for saying the wrong name. But she was buried yesterday, they had a funeral for her. And I got an opportunity to attend a viewing on Friday. I didn't attend the funeral, but I wanted to clarify that up because that was on tape. But the Banks family is grieving. But if she was a Christian, and I believe she was, that she's not suffering anymore. Praise the Lord. 
And I give God all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. You are dismissed and go in this grace and praise the Lord.